today I'm going to show you how I modify this little toy to make this bigger Fall Guys robot. Here's the bigger bean guy walking around with two feet. It walks pretty slow but can get around. The robot sometimes fall over but it can take a beating. It has arms so it can do some hugging. I don't know why but it's canon that Fall Guys robots are supposedly six feet tall so an NBA point guard height. But I went with a lot cuter tennis version for the robot. The walking robots are hard to build and people spend their whole lives developing advanced robots that can walk on two feet. Just look at the cool things that Boston Dynamics have done. But I want to make a simple design for walking robots and that started with this little toy. This Tinker toy has been around since the late 1800s and maybe sooner. When going down a ramp, it will walk just for using gravity. The toy rocks back and forth, and that was big because the real Fall Guys did the same motion. So I can kind of steal what the toy does and incorporate it to a different robot. These toys work by having spherical legs. So the legs are curved in their front and side, allowing them to rock in both directions. The legs are unpowered and free to rotate at the hip. So with a slight push to the side, the toy will start wobbling down a ramp as one leg is on the ground, the other leg is swinging forward, making the toy move forward. So if you want to try this out, a version of this toy is can be 3D printed on Thingiverse, so check that out. So I took that same toy foot design and added some servos for leg clearance to create a design to get the robot walking. One of the keys for this robot is where the legs rotate is off from the center, so the robot wants to fall forward even on flat ground. And shout out to my friend Sharpen, he was the one who suggested this idea for me. So now I got a pair of walking legs. I was too lazy to actually design the body from scratch. So I got a model for the fall guy online, made it bigger, and then hollowed it out. I then 3D printed it and spray painted it. Here's the finished body without the legs and electronic inside. Inside is hollow and all the components for the legs go in there. I added the rest of the electronics to control the four servos. There are two smaller servos on the outside for the arm. Now just power the robot on and put his face back on and it starts walking. This robot works surprisingly well and I'll put more detailed description of the CAD and the parts in the details below. It's a slow guy traveling only a few centimeters every step, but that's fine. Right now the robot just walks around randomly going wherever it wants to go. Alright, it will be no fun if I didn't have the robot actually complete an obstacle course. So I built a little obstacle course for the robot to compete in. Let's have the robot do it. Alright, thanks for watching and shout out to all my Patreon supporters for making this video possible and please subscribe to see more content. Bye!